They make a living out of befriending, then betraying unsuspecting Australians. Since we began digging into their activities, this pair has done everything in their power to stop this story going to air. This is the explosive investigation they didn't want you to see. It's late night midweek and Olympic swimming champion Neil Brooks is back to peak performance. Brooks is the charmer with the name, the superstar that everyone, that he, you know, everyone trusts. At his side, wife Linda, a ruthless TV star turned cashed up con woman. Brooks, he sucks you in and Linda spits you out. It's a profitable game they've mastered. Or pair of blood sucking vultures. But tonight, it's game over. Should they be in town? Absolutely. This is where Neil and Linda Brooks are currently operating, and they're hiding out inside that house right now. It's the Gold Coast's most exclusive address, the Sovereign Island. Mega mansions inside this gated community sell for up to $15 million. So how could these two possibly afford to buy here when it was only 14 months ago they were flat broke and owed a fortune to creditors? So Tell me how you're affording to live the lifestyle you are. This is so hard because we work hard. They do work hard at spending other people's money from mums and dads. It's been absolutely, absolutely horrendous on my family. It's, it's gut-wrenching. To multi-millionaires. That sold my shares for $2 million. Australian celebrities and international stars. So we're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. Sporting teams in this country. The Holden dealer team uh, for $30,000 worth of merchandise that was supposed to go to Pathers. And overseas. It was basically going into one of Neil's other online accounts that he had for another business. You told me you were going to turn over new leads. Mm -hmm. Winning Olympic gold, Australia worshipped him, but the Mean Machine's main man became a monster. As a sports presenter, he was a drunk, kicked off the air for unforgivable behaviour. She claimed her fame using the name Linda Cameron. Because I don't think she's as dumb as 